welcome yourself. We're so good at welcoming others. We sometimes forget to like welcome ourselves. Sounds a little goofy to be like, you know, welcome feet, you know, touch your feet, tap them. Hey, welcome feet. Wake them up. Tap your lower leg. Welcome lower leg. Upper leg. Stroke it. Tap it. Touch yourself. Welcome. Go to the belly back. Tap, touch, whatever feels good. Welcome. Up into the chest and upper back, you know, armpits. <laughs> welcome. Move on to your arms and your hands, welcome. Yep, into your neck, your head. Yep. All the senses that are in your head. You've got taste, smell, sight, hearing, right? And your hands are contributing to touch. Yeah, so welcome it all. And then settle. You might, I feel a little tingly after that. Like, what does it feel like to sit here after you kind of tapped yourself and welcomed your body? to the practice and the mat. An attitude of welcoming. Hands to your heart. Welcoming this experience. And then release your hands. All right, let's go. Hands and knees right into it. So hands a little bit beneath the shoulders, maybe forward of it. Pointer finger thumb out of width of shoulder. Knees beneath pelvis. Cat cow. So this is a good morning, a, a good day, a good evening, right? Whatever, whatever time you choose to take flexion and extension of your spine, it is a welcoming. So keep it going between cat and cow. So head drops, tail drops, belly lifts, spine rounds. And then tail reaches out, heart pulls forward. Good cow. Keep it going. A couple more times. All right, come to neutral. So head in alignment, spine following its natural curves. Tuck your toes under and then lay the tops of your feet flat. So now we're alternating in the foot, right? So we're going between flexion and extension at the ankle joints. Toes tuck, press into your big toe ball joint, baby toe ball joint. You'll feel a stretch maybe through the bottom of your feet. And then transition to laying the tops of the feet down. A couple more times, working movement at your ankle joints here in all fours. Last one. All right, lay the tops of your feet flat, work your hands forward a handprint, Shift your pelvis back towards your heels and then come back up to tabletop. So you're moving between a child's pose and then dynamically transitioning to an extended all fours. Keep it going. So this is movement at hip and knee, right? So welcoming this movement. Let's shift it a little bit. And as you go back, shift your pelvis towards your right heel and then come up through center Alternate, shift your pelvis back towards your left heel, heel. So now you've almost got like a little sachet, a little sideways movement. Keep it going from side to side. Finish up so that you're even both sides. And come to center. Hands are um, a little bit forward of the shoulders, still point your finger and thumb outer width of shoulders. Tuck your toes, push with your feet, hover your knees off the mat. Welcoming a little bit of tone to the legs, to the belly. Definitely with the push of the hands and the arms, you're strengthening, right? So strengthening through the chest and back. Control the descent of your knees. And we'll do that again. Push with your hands and your feet, hover your knees and breathe. This is called bear. <laughs> this would be you walking like a bear across the earth. All right, knees down. One more time. Breathe, push with hands and feet, hover your knees. And now tip your pelvis up to the sky. And then press your legs back and up so that you're moving towards the shape of downward facing dog. Once you've gotten into your 
inverted V shape, pedal out through the feet. So take a walk, move from your ankle joints, alternating a heel lift lower from the movement at your ankle joints. Your knees are also responding. Your pelvis is responding. Your spine is responding. Your shoulders are responding. So the rest of you is welcoming this movement at the ankle joint. Nobody's blocking it. One more time through each ankle. And then walk both feet towards the top of your yoga mat. Get all the way up to the top. Walk to the very tippy, tippy top. Toes up, lined up on the edge. Spread them out. Bend your knees in a standing forward fold. Push with your feet. Extend your legs. Now, extension of the legs doesn't have to be much. The bend of the knees doesn't have to be much. You get to play with the range of motion. Maybe you want to bend your knees a lot, right? A couple more leg pumps. All right, soften the knees a little bit. And as you spread your toes out, keep squeezing your feet towards each other. That's a weird cue, right? As the inner edges of your, inner edges of your feet try to move towards each other without moving, take your outer heels and try to press them away. Those two actions are going to create some energy up the legs, some muscular energy. Use an in-breath, keeping your finger pads on the floor. Look up, get long. So you're going to extend your spine across the room. And then as you exhale, fold into your legs. Keep that going now. In-breath. Lengthen, lift your spine, maybe even look up and across the floor. And then as you exhale, bow your head in. Fold your body towards your legs. Keep moving. Breathing. One more. The next time you have lengthened and gotten long, bring your hands to your pelvis. Bring your elbows to the sky. Push down from pelvis to feet and rise all the way up. Release your arms down. Take a big breath up. Exhale your arms down. All right, this, this movement of the arms, keep it going. Big reach out and up. This is like a mudra, a whole body mudra of welcome it. Like if you took your arms out and you'd be like, yeah, that would be like you welcoming the day, welcoming what's before you. You've been in places, you know, the most beautiful places. And you've had the desire to stretch your arms out big, maybe for a photo, right? <laughs> reach your arms up. Slide your fingers together, turn your palms open. Try to spin your pinky fingers more to the wall behind you so that you can open the palms of your hands just a little bit more. On your next exhale, root into your heels and move the head of your shin bones forward so you flex at your ankle, knee, and hip. So it's like you've dropped down in the lower body into a little bit of a, a chair pose. Exhale, keep the lower body where it is, arms unleash. Clasp your hands behind your back. Bend your elbows. Move the head of your arm bones back. Keep your tail drawing down and lift up through your heart. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very vulnerable position, right? Just feel it in the body. You got to really welcome life to be in this position. You're, you're definitely not closed off. All right, release your arms. Bring your hands to your pelvis. Step your right foot back for a high lunge. Right foot back, high lunge. Strengthen your legs now. So lots of ways to bring that tone and strength into the legs. Easiest, spread your toes. Next, pull your feet together. In breath, raise your arms up big. Palms of the hands face the directions of your eyes. Next, exhale, hands come down. Bring your hands to your pelvis now. Spin on your back foot and plant it. So you're moving into a rooted back heel for warrior one. Turn your pelvis. Right side of the pelvis turns forward. Left side draws back. Belly, yeah, belly button aims to the left inner knee. Both arms up again. Palms of the hands. Face the direction of your eyes. Fingers spread wide.
On the exhale, lower your arms and then clasp your hands behind your back. Once again, bend your elbows. Head of the arm bones move back. Tail draws down, heart lifts. So just adding a little bit of extension to this standing pose. Next breath, release your hands. Hands to pelvis, pivot on your back foot. Step together. Ooh, just feel. Yeah, welcome the sensation on the right side of your body and your left. Feel it. All right, let's go to the second side. So left leg back, high lunge. Start with that high lunge. Energize through your legs. You know how to do it. Toes spread, easy. Feet pull together, next. Big reach up, palms open, fingers spreading. Again, this is a welcoming shape. <laughs> when, you're, uh, when you're upset with somebody, you're not gonna take this shape, right? <laughs> when, you're, when you don't wanna be in the conversation or in the picture, you're not gonna take this shape. You're gonna hide. Release your arms down, hands to your pelvis, pivot on your back foot, place your back heel down, turn your pelvis by using your left hand on your pelvis to draw the left side of your pelvis forward, the right side of your pelvis back. Aim your belly button and your ribs to your right inner knee. In breath, arms up again. Yeah, so rooted heel, stand down in that back heel, lots of power from left pelvis down to left heel so that you can reach bigger up through your torso, up through your armpits, up, up, up through your fingertips. Keep the lift, lower your arms, clasp your hands behind your back, bend your elbows, head of the arm bones, move back. Tail draws down, heart lifts up. It's an upward lift, breathe. Next breath, release your hands, hold your pelvis, pivot on your back foot, step together. Stand, let your arms go. Just stand, stand in your own presence. All right, here we go, big breath up. Have a seat, chair pose, fold forward, using an exhale, standing forward fold. Right foot back lunge, low lunge, right hand down. Left hand to pelvis. Turn your right ribs to the left, left arm skyward. So twisted lunge. Breathe. Left hand down, right foot forward, switching legs. Left leg back, low lunge. Fire it up in the legs. You know how to create the energy in the legs. Left hand flat to the mat. Right hand to right hip crease. Spin your left ribs to your front leg. You got it. Top arm up, go for it. Breathe. Right hand down, check it out. Right leg back, plank, plank. Yep, breathe. Two more breaths, steady and strong, pushing with your hands, pushing with your feet. Optional, knees down. Everybody lower down to the mat onto your belly. Inhale up, cobra, legs strong, squeezing together. Heart moves forward. Head of the arm bones move back. As your tail reaches down and out through your heels, think of like an extra tail, long tail. Reach in all the way down the inner line of your legs. From that anchoring of your tail, try to lift your heart more and go up through the top back of your head. On your next exhale, return to the earth. We're going to come up and add rotation to that. Breathe. Place your hands well. Lift your shoulders to the height of your elbows so you're already engaged. Keep pressing down through the tops of your feet and squeezing your legs towards each other. Reach strongly from pelvis to toes. Add in the tail, right? The long tail anchoring 
as well. In breath, as you claw your hands back, heart moves forward, so up into cobra again. Rotate left ribs forward. And you can look over your right shoulder. You could even turn your head and look. Come back to center. Rotate your ribs so that your right ribs come forward and your left ribs draw back. You can look over your left shoulder. One more time each direction. Make it juicy from the ribs. Right? I know it's easy to move from the head, move from the ribs. All right, bend your elbows, lower all the way down. Rest your hands underneath your forehead, bend your knees, windshield wiper your legs. Lay your legs long, slide your hands back by your chest wall, tuck your toes, push up and back into downward facing dog. Breathe. Bend your knees, keeping a tip of your sitting bones to the sky. Keep trying to press your feet, the inner edges together without moving them. Try to move your outer heels away, but don't move them. See what leg energy kicks up. And then to lengthen your legs, press your thigh bones back towards your hamstrings. Keep a lift through the front body from belly to armpits to forearms so there's no collapse along the front of the trunk into the arms. And then from your sitting bones down through your heels, reach for the earth. Next exhale, come down to your knees, hands and knees. Step your right leg back, toes tucked. Raise your right leg in the air, extend your left arm forward. Breathe. Left hand down, right knee down, second side, left leg steps back. Push with the big toe ball joint so you get some tone through your left leg, then lift your left leg up, extend your right arm forward. Next exhale, right hand down, left knee down. Shift back towards your heels so you can come up into tall kneeling. If you need something to kneel on in this moment, just grab a pillow or a blanket. Bring your hands together and clasp them and you're just gonna make uh, wrist circles. So you're clasping your hands, rotating at the wrist. Switch the clasp so you've got, you know, um, a certain way you like to clasp your hands. Clasp it the other way and make your wrist circles, All right? Go to finger pads touching, so you're in a prayer position with open fingers. Bring your thumbs to your breastbone, point your fingers down, rotate up. Keep pressing your palms together. Yeah, so we're just doing some wrist stretches. One more time. All right, flex at your hips. Take your hands down and reverse the uh, grip of your hand. So normally if we put our hands on the mat, right in fours, we would point our fingers in the direction of our skull. Point your fingertips back towards your knees. Yeah, bend your elbows a little bit. Flip your hands over, lay the back of your hand on the mat so your palm is to the sky. All right, in breath, come up tall kneeling. Raise your arms up to the sky, bend your right elbow. Take hold of your right elbow tip with your left hand and draw your right elbow tip up to the sky and move it to the midline. Up and over. Breathe. Switch arms, so both arms up, bend your left elbow. Take your right hand, hold your left elbow. Lift your left elbow up to the sky, draw it a little bit towards the midline. But Go for the extension, right? Breathe. All right, next breath, extend, and then lower your arms. Bring your arms back down to the mat. Let's take a forearm position. So you're gonna clasp your hands, bend your elbows, 
place your elbows beneath your shoulders. Yeah, somewhere underneath there, right? It could be a little forward of the shoulder girdle too, towards your ears. Got a little bit of space there. With your hands clasping, your forearms pressing down, even press down in the area where your wristwatch would be. Tuck your toes, push with your feet, push with your forearms, pike up into, this is called dolphin, right? So it's like a down dog with forearms. Let's get back into the legs now. Good leg energy, breathe. So inner edges of the feet try to work towards each other while outer heels try to press away. Thigh bones press back. Yep. Use your forearms more so that instead of collapsing to the earth, there's a lift. Push down with your forearms more to create the lift. All right, next exhale, knees down. Good job. Work your hands a handprint forward. Root into your hands, tuck your toes. Lift your pelvis up and back into dog. Stand on your left foot, raise your right leg in the air. Single leg dog. Yep. From the bottom of your heart to your hands, extend even more so that you get the lift rather than a collapse. There's going to be a push that comes from the bottom of your heart out through your fingers. And then keep that. And then from the bottom of your heart out into both legs, reach. So you got the two legs doing two different things, right? So you got to find the reach in both of them. Okay, right leg down. Let's go for the left. Left leg in the air, long leg, lift it up. Try to keep pelvis square so we've not turned this shape open. And now go into the bottom of your heart. This is where everything is welcomed, right? And expand into your hands. That'll create a lift through the body. Yeah, rather than collapsing torso, arms, you'll feel this lift and expansion. Is it work? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then from the bottom of your heart through your pelvis to each leg, expand. And you got two legs in two different places. So you got to, you know, go into one, do it. Go into the other, do it. All right, breathe. Okay, left leg down. Come to your knees. Come down to your forearms. Clasp your hands. Take an exhale. Let your heart soften for a moment. Yeah, when we welcome, the heart, the heart is not hard, right? When we welcome ourselves, when we welcome others, there's a, an exhale, a welcoming that's soft. All right. Elbows a little bit either under the shoulder or forward. Forearms pressing down, even the wristwatch area, even the pinky edge of the hand in the clasp position. Tuck your toes, press up and back into dolphin. Walk your feet in any amount. Let your head drop down. Let your head hang. Push more with your left foot. Raise your right leg up in the air. Yeah, so you've got a single leg dolphin. Come on. All right. So that same stuff you've been working on, like from the bottom of your heart, through your forearms, go. Is it work? Yes. Yeah. You're going to feel like, man, I'm really pressing my forearms into the earth. And then from the bottom of your heart through each leg, reach. You got two legs doing two different things. <laughs> okay, right leg down. Let's take a break. So knees down, breathe. Yeah, notice if you've been like over gripping your hands, right? Uh, that would not be very welcoming. That would be like a, um, like a really rough handshake with somebody. So if you feel that tension in your hands, just un unlace your hands, wiggle your fingers. Right? You're going to take that same energy maybe that you had in the hand, hand clasp that was intense and use it to push forearms down. Use it to reach from the bottom of your, your heart in both directions. All right, last time, second side, clasp your hands again. Breathe, check out your forearms, right? And you know if you're just like leaning only on your elbow tip area, it stinks. So you're finding how to transfer weight across the forearm, even into the area where your wrist watch resides. So if you're, if you're just like, man, it's hard to get that part of my wrist down, you're just working that, right? That's effort. That's going to take strength through the arms. And then you're also working pinky edge of the hand down. All right, tuck your toes. Here we go. Up to dolphin, pelvis high, sitting bones lifted. Breathe. 
Stand on your right foot, left leg up in the air. All right, so you've got the shape, you've got the general form. Let's, let's make it bigger. It's gotta be a little bit of effort, but the effort's not in the grip of the hands. It's in the press of the forearms. The lift, the lift happens in the torso because you're going from the bottom of your heart into your forearms and down into the earth. The lift happens because you're going from the bottom of your heart out through two different legs doing different things. So you've got a lot of diverse actions going on right now. Next exhale, left leg down, knees down, breathe, unclasp your hands, wiggle your fingers. How'd it go? All right, down dog. We won't be there long. I know you've done a lot of strength in uh, dolphin. Okay, so from downward facing dog, use an inhale and come forward to plank. From plank, you could bring your knees to the mat or lower all the way down with long legs. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale, lower down, push up to fours. In all fours, let's take the left arm out and then thread the needle through. So left arm's threading underneath your torso. Yep, go to ridge tops, just a nice shoulder stretch after. So sweet, powerful dolphin shapes. All right, press with your right hand, untwist. Back to fours, let's uh, take the right arm out to the side plane and then thread the needle through. Ridge tops on your left hand, left elbow to the sky. Breathe. Press with your left hand, come out of your twist, back to fours. And then from fours, work a handprint forward, tuck your toes, move up and back to down dog. Walk both feet forward, all the way up to the top of your mat, toes on the edge. Yeah, it's like welcoming, living on the edge. So often we go, oh, I don't wanna live right on the edge. <laughs> Stay back. Bend your knees, press the inner edges of your feet together, move your outer heels away. Bring your hands to your pelvis, Heart moves forward as your elbow tips go to the sky. And then use a strong push, pelvis to heels, to lift yourself up to tall. Oh, release your arms down, breathe. Hands to pelvis as heart stays lifted. Standing on your left foot, right leg back, high lunge. In breath, arms up. On the exhale, hands clasp behind your back, bend your elbows, lengthen and lift through your own heart. On the next exhale, release your hands, touch both hands to the ground, lift your right leg in the air. If you're ready, it's a standing split. <laughs> right leg up, right leg up. Work your hands back towards your standing foot and then check out your standing foot. You gotta start with a lot of upward rising energy first. So pull up through the inner ankle by rooting down through the four corners of your standing foot. Yeah. From standing splits right to tree pose. Ready? Hey, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Right to tree pose, everybody. Up. Find tree pose. Transition your arms. Any arm expression that's an expression of welcoming. Right, any arm position. You know, even just putting a hand at a heart, that's welcoming, isn't it? From tree to warrior three. Woohoo, that's another balanced pose. So hands to the pelvis, soften your left knee, extend your right leg back behind you, flex at your right ankle. Yep, you'll start hinging from the hip crease. From your pelvis to each heel, that's the one down in the earth, push. From your pelvis to the leg that's in the air, reach through the heel. Option is to extend your arms forward or just keep them at your pelvis. Right foot down, warrior one, plant the back heel, lift up through your heart. Exhale your hands down. Yeah, nice warrior one sequence. Step together, shall we? 
So we do that warrior one sequence, second side. Yes. All right, standing on your right foot. Left foot back, warrior one. Yeah, line it up, turn your pelvis, turn your belly button so that as best you can, you get both sides of the pelvis parallel to the wall in front of you. Belly button turning to the inner knee. In breath, arms up. Breathe, clasp your hands behind your back, bend your elbows, lift up through your heart. Release your arms, let them dangle. Next, exhale, both hands to the ground. Left leg in the air, standing splits. Let your head bow in. It's like you're kissing your standing leg knee. You gotta let your spine flex that much. Now, what gives you the lift, all right? What's gonna give you the lift? Push with your hands, all right? So you're on finger pads, push. It's gonna lift the torso. And then from pelvis on the standing leg, the right leg, push down into the heel. Go. And then from pelvis through the left heel, reach. From standing splits, right to tree pose. Left leg, come on, figure it out. Ooh, crazy, right? So we welcome the craziness. We welcome the balance checks. any position of the hands and arms that you feel is a welcoming gesture. That would be a mudra, right? A mudra of welcoming. What would it be? Lots of choices. You know, and it's really the intention behind it, right? That's what you start to discover. It's the intention behind the gesture. And we read that. We read that in ourselves. We read it in we read it in the relationships that we're in. All right, from tree, we went to warrior three. So bring your hands to your pelvis. That'll help keep you steady. Soften your standing leg knee so it can be responsive. Left leg, it's gonna shoot back to warrior three. Now part forward. All right, to get the lift, you got to go down from pelvis to standing heel. You got to reach out on the leg that's up in the air from pelvis through heel. There's an option here to extend your arms forward. It's a big shape. Breathe. Welcome what's ever coming. It's all good. And then on your next exhale, bend your front knee, land your back foot, come into warrior one. So back to where we started, warrior one. Exhale your arms down, hands to pelvis, pivot on your back foot, step together. Nice. Take a big breath out. Chair pose, fold forward, Uttanasana. Step back to downward facing dog. Right leg in the air, right leg forward pigeon, back knee down. You could definitely put something under the back knee. We're going to do the upright version of pigeon right? So it would be king pigeon, All right? Pull your back leg forward, press down through your front leg, pull it back, draw your belly back, try to stack your ribs and your shoulders on top of your pelvis, in breath, arms up is an option, hands clasped behind you is an option, elbows bend, head of the arm bones move back as the tail moves down, deep lift in your heart. Then release your hands, hands back to the mat, tuck your back toes, push yourself up and back to down dog, breathe, stand on your right foot, left leg skyward. Uh, how are you doing from the bottom of the heart to the hands? Are you lifted? Bottom of the heart through each leg, got it? Good, should feel lifted rather than collapsing. Here we go, left leg forward, pigeon, back knee down. Top of the back foot flat. Pull the back leg forward, press down and pull the front leg back. That drawing together of both legs is what helps you come upright. Yeah, nice. Keep working your belly back and your ribs back and your shoulders. So you're trying to get on top of you rather than leaning forward. And we're all different, right? So we just, we're like, okay, wherever I am, it's good. 
right? That's a welcoming attitude. Arms reach up. Could be just one arm. Arms in the back plane, clasp your hands, bend your elbows, head of the arm bones back, tail down, heart up. Breathe. Release your hands to the mat. Tuck your back toes. Push with your back foot up and back to down dog. All right, both knees down. Have a seat. <laughs> Reach for your yoga strap. You don't have to have it. You could probably do this seated sequence without it. It's just nice if you have it. So hooking the bottoms of your feet. Dandasana, so draw your elbows close to your body. As you draw back from arches of the feet to pelvis, it allows you to also draw the shoulder blades towards each other. So once again, we have this welcoming open front of our hearts. Slip your left foot out. I know I look opposite of you, left foot slipping out, coming up into Janushashasana. Hold those straps with your right hand. Left foot's up as high towards your pubic bone as possible. In breath, left arm up. Forward fold. Keep drawing back with the right arm, right elbow soft, right head of the arm bone back. Turn your ribs so that your heart aims towards your right knee. And maybe your left hand will come down and hold your right foot. Breathe. In breath, come on up. All right, back to both legs long, Dandasana. Stretch them both out. Return to the drawing in, arches of the feet to pelvis, using your hands without a lot of grip, but um, power, the power of the heart, right? So shoulder blades draw towards each other, heart lifts. Okay. So now it's right leg up into Janushashasana. Both straps to the left hand, Right leg slips out of the yoga strap. Slide your right foot up the inner line of your left leg. Yep. Turn your belly, turn your ribs towards your left knee. So you're aiming towards your left knee. In breath, right arm up. Forward fold. Keep drawing back with the left arm, right? So head of the left arm bone moving back as your heart moves forward. So it's keeping an open heart as you come down. Maybe your right hand touches some part of your left leg. Allow yourself to fold in, <laughs> hugging your own leg. Breathe. Strong legs pressing down, in breath and come up. Slip both feet back into the straps. Draw your elbows back. Extend your heart upward. To help with that, move the head of your arm bones back. Keeping your right foot in the strap, left leg up. Now, Janushashasana, open the pose this time. We're gonna take the lateral variation. So move the left knee open. Slide your right hand down both straps. So your right hand is aiming towards your right foot and you've got your right side waist lining up towards your right knee. In breath, left arm up to the sky, bend your right elbow, lateral bend. Yep, so we're lateral bending towards the straight leg. Let go of the strap now. Take your right hand, reach it forward in the direction of your eyes. So right hand's on the mat, palm open. Finding a little bit of rotation here.
Left arm up to the sky, press down with both legs, in breath and come up. All right, back to Dandasana. Both legs out in front of you, grab your yoga strap. From the arches of your feet to your pelvis, draw in. With the head of your arm bones moving back, your elbows moving back, lift your heart up. So you have a really strong, long leg, natural curves of the spine, lifted spine presentation. One more breath. Keep pressing your heels down. Keep pressing your thigh bones down. All right. Janushirshasana, second variation, second side. So keep the yoga strap on the left foot. Left hand reaches down the straps. Right leg folded up and then open your right knee to the right. So you're, you're coming into a more open shape by adjusting the bent knee leg, opening it wider. Yeah. Right foot still in contact with the left. Work your left hands down your straps. You're already starting to tip left. In breath, right arm up, bend your left elbow. Yep, let it go to the ground, let it go towards the earth and let your spine flex. So you've got a lateral bend towards your long left leg. Breathe. Keep rooting into both sitting bones. So the one that wants to get light is the bent knee leg. Side. You got you to gotta keep that sitting bone rooted down. That definitely is going to open up some more tissue the more you're able to anchor the right sitting bone. Okay, you've got the straps with your left hand. Go ahead and let go of that. Thread your left arm through. So we're threading a needle here. Now, left arm reaching out in the direction of your eyes, palm open to the ceiling, mm -hmm. pressing the arm down as best you can so that it helps you turn your left ribs forward as you draw your right ribs back. Maybe your top hand, oh, now look for it. Maybe it can get to your foot. Maybe you can touch your toes. Maybe you can hold some part of your foot. Breathe. Next in breath, right arm up to the sky. Press with both legs down. Inhale and come up. Woo, right? <laughs> Come to the center of your mat. Hold on to your hamstrings and ease yourself down into a reclining position. Once you're down, single knee to chest. Let's bring right knee in. Left leg extends. Right knee in. Release, switch legs. So left knee in, right leg extends. Draw both knees towards your chest. Slide your hands to the bottoms of your feet. Happy baby. <laughs> you can rock side to side. Couple more breath cycles here. Come on to center, fold your legs so your heels come down towards your buttocks, move your knees to the midline, and then place your feet on the floor. As you feel ready, extend your legs out on the mat, arms down by your side, palms open. Our practice is the path of welcoming. It really takes a, a courage to welcome all of life. It's super easy to welcome the good stuff, you know. <laughs> it's harder 
you know, to remain open during some of the more challenging times. And welcome the feelings and the emotions to allow them to flow. with a recognition of the full spectrum of our life. And an attitude of welcoming. Rest. 